Crisis Tales author, Lanny Davis, is with us, former advisor to President Bill Clinton. Lanny, welcome back. Always good to have you with us. And with, if it's okay with you, sir, I want to go through these three claims, the credit-taking claim, one at a time. First of all, the unemployment rate, 5.8%. It has come down significantly. Do you think that the president should take credit for that decline in unemployment? Uh, he shouldn't take uh, singular credit as if it's all his doing, but of course he should take credit. And I'm disappointed in my friend Steve Moore, who usually isn't as partisan as talking point partisan as he just was. If these numbers were in the wrong direction, if gas prices were up, if unemployment were up, if inflation were up, which it isn't, it's about zero, if all of these numbers were wrong, Steve Moore would be blaming this on Barack Obama. My neutral principle is I gave credit to George Bush, even though I was a Democrat, when the economy was doing better, and I blamed him when the economy was doing worse. You're a partisan if you try to have it both ways. I don't think Steve is, but he sounded like one. Okay, well, let, let's get, get back to that 5.8% right. unemployment. Uh, it's down. I now, give him some credit. What, what I give policy? the Republic what, what policy? brought well, that rate uh, down? Or was it that people dropped out of the workforce by the million? Yeah, well, there's always a way to put a half full glass and say it's half empty. It is higher if you count the people who dropped out. That's a fact. But it's still lower even with the people who dropped out. And since the 2008 crisis, which did occur under a Republican administration, I don't blame George Bush alone for that, just as I don't give Barack Obama sole credit. I give credit to the Republicans as well to keeping pressure on spending and avoiding increasing taxes. There is some credit to Republicans. It's just important when people on this type of program, which is a neutral and objective and a great program, not read Democratic or Republican partisan talking points. Okay. My friend Steve sounded like he was doing that. Okay, how about cheap gas? Now, we're down Again. to 292, and we are down. There's no question. That's, a, that's a, a fine thing, in my opinion. But t you t tell me, what part of President Obama's policies gave us this cheap gas? There is a part, but it isn't the big answer. Oil prices go up and down for a variety of complicated reasons. World demand is one. Another is energy independence within the United States relying uh, less on Middle Eastern oil, which would then allow prices to go down because the cartel in the Middle East doesn't have the power that it used to have. So it's a small part of what some of President Obama has done on environmental and other changes, allowing a reduction and an increase of oil production in the United States. And I happen to favor the construction of the pipeline, keeping into account the environmental concerns. Okay. Lanny Davis, thanks very much indeed for, for balancing you, it out. We appreciate that. And Thank it's you. good to see you again, sir. Good, good to see you, Stuart.